Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful Resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, I'm going to show you some useful tips for long distance collaboration with other DaVinci Resolve users. Why other DaVinci Resolve users? Because by keeping the project within Resolve throughout its lifespan, you'll save a lot of time by avoiding conforming issues and other forms of lost work. In other words, the workflow will be more seamless. One obstacle you'll need to tackle is sharing media with other people on your team. For larger projects, the simplest way is probably going to be shipping drives. However, for lighter weight projects, there are a variety of ways to share your media online. And right now, Frame.io is Ripple Training's app of choice. Once you're ready to send the project out for visual effects, color, or sound, you'll probably want to mark it up with a bunch of notes. In Resolve 15, markers have a new annotation function. For example, I'll go to this clip where the centurion jumps off his horse. Now, contrary to popular belief, Roman soldiers didn't have zippers on the backs of their sandals. So I'll leave a note letting VFX know to paint these out. To do so, I'll press M to add a marker. Then I'll go to the Viewer Overlay menu and choose Annotations at the bottom. With this tool, you can now draw on the frame or add arrows to point to any problems that need to be addressed. Pressing M again will open the marker options where I can leave a note to paint out these zippers. Clicking Done when I'm finished. Once you've got everything marked up, it's time to export the project and send this DRP file to the other members of your team. When each department gets their work done, they'll send you a new DRP. DRP files generally aren't very big, but they are going to be a bit larger than, say, an XML. However, XMLs tend to lose your color corrections, fusion comps, etc. So with a DRP, the most you'll usually have to do is relink media. There is one catch, though. If you have multiple people working on things at the same time, you'll have to merge their DRP files into your final project. This isn't difficult, but at this point in time, it does require a few additional steps on your part. First, go to the Project Manager and make sure that Dynamic Project Switching is turned on. With Dynamic Project Switching turned on, you'll be able to have multiple projects open and resolve. So all you need to do is open up the various projects from your collaborators, then copy their timelines with Command-C or Control-C, and with Dynamic Project Switching, you'll have a new drop-down menu here to switch between projects. Open the master project and navigate to the appropriate bin in the media pool. Then press Command-V or Control-V to paste. One thing I suggest is to use the project with the audio master as your master project, since bus assignments and things of that nature are stored at the project level. And right now, I'm not aware of any way to copy and paste all that data from one project to another. The next step will be to consolidate your timelines to a master timeline. One way to do this, and the one I prefer in most scenarios, is to stack timelines. To do so, click this button, then choose the timeline you want to compare. If you don't see this button, go to the Timeline View Options menu and turn it on here. With timelines stacked, you can simply drag and drop the work that your collaborators have done onto your master timeline. Once again, I feel it's wise to use the audio master timeline as your final timeline, as this is likely to save you a lot of headaches. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out rippletraining.com, your number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training.